what's up, Cancer? How are you guys doing? Um, alright, first of all, like, I had a dream about one of my Cancer friends, and it showed the judgment card. It was a weird type of judgment card. It, not that it was weird in a bad way, but... I was sitting at the table and we were like talking and shit and it was one of those I drew a picture of it. So I don't know if that resonates with you. Like if you're in a drawing or if you're in an arts type of situation, um maybe you should like for me, I took it as a hint to make a card out of it. Because I'm in the midst of making my own tarot deck. So, I don't know what it means for you, but I feel as if there's some sort of awakening happening within your life. Um, it felt like more or less a good thing. It wasn't more of like a reconciliation type judgment card, but it was like, Awakening, like awakening to the bullshit, awakening to a new side of you, um, type of situation. Anyways, let's get into your reading. This side's going to be for you. Sorry, my kids are up. I'm being crazy. So if you hear them in the background, you deserve love. You are lovable. So right now you're feeling like your self-esteem is shot. Uh, maybe your confidence levels have decreased within a situation. Only one of these cards is for you. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. So you're pretending not to care about someone whenever you really do. Either that or you're lying to yourself about this person caring about you. Heart to heart conversation. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. This is on your person's side. Like they're wanting to sit down and actually talk to you about what's going on. And I don't know if you're... It kind of feels like at the same time you're so wrapped up in self-love. And like, hey, I deserve something better than this bullshit, right? I excuse the French because they know I cuss too much in my videos. Because they're wanting a reconciliation. They are wanting to make this work. Express your love in the middle. Okay, so you're not, you're feeling like something isn't enough. But in all actuality, it just might be, but you're not seeing it. Let's get into this. I haven't shuffled the cards or anything, so it might take me a minute. If you need to fast forward through this video, go ahead. Keep in mind, uh, energies can be reversed. Um, this could be your partner, and this, yeah, let's cut through the bullshit for a minute. Alright, um, this could be for your partner, and the other side could be for you. Like, you are seriously wanting a heart-to-heart -heart conversation, and to get back with someone, and, but your person is kind of deceiving themselves about this situation. Like, they feel as if something wasn't there. Sorry, my kid's playing with a wrench. I'm gonna have a handyman on the side. <laughs> like, he's trying to fix the little TV stand right now. <laughs> but, um, somebody's feeling as if they're not good enough to be loved. And in all actuality, they are. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Swords, which is going to calmer waters with someone. Actually having that communication, the hard hard conversation possibly, that is going to change this matter and actually put shit into motion for you. Hey. No. TV doesn't need to be fixed. Sorry. <laughs> Went to fix the TV with a wrench. He's poor. 
All right, you deserve love. This is releasing burdens and actually going into your power. This is feeling like you might have heavy fire in your chart or fire heavy aspected. You might be have cancer in your chart at the same time and you be a fire sign. But this is you letting go of what no longer serves you in order to go for what you're passionate about. And you actually seeing within yourself that you are lovable. There are things about you that cannot be replaced no matter who the fuck is dealing with you. And you don't want to be something that you're not. These deception, karma, you're not seeing your karma in this situation. You're not visualizing the lessons. You are not... Moving forward, knowing what the fuck you need to do, like, okay, there might have been shit that happened in your past that you're not recognizing in order to take the lesson out of that situation, and you're falsifying somebody else's motives in order to kind of get past it. You're letting your past control you, in short version, but, um... This is coming out of conflict at the same time. Like, once you realize the lessons in this situation, you're going to move to calmer waters. And the calmer waters is you actually having this enlightenment. You having this hope in what you're dealing with. This is letting go of all the competition. These can be your blockages. Like, you're not letting go of what no longer serves you. But you're also not stepping into your power at the same time. Um, this self-deception could be that, uh, again, you're not taking the lessons out of situations. But it could have to do with a court case at the same time. Like, it's not going so well. Like, you might have... Um, if you have a court situation going on, you're thinking the worst. You're, like, not really wanting to deal with it. And at the same time, you're going to go into court and you're going to realize that it's okay. And this is going to kind of open your mind a little bit. <laughs> Sorry, he's in those speedy pajamas because he put himself in those. <laughs> and he totally assed out on the floor. Um, hearts hard conversations. Maybe there is a child's mother involved. Maybe there is a hearts hard conversation about you needing to take care of yourself. This person actually thinks the world of you and they're wanting the best for you. They're wanting you to nurture yourself. They are wanting you to kind of put the effort in making yourself a better person. But at the same time, you've got so much shit going on right now that you don't believe that you deserve love. And you are trying to get through whatever karma, whatever court case you're trying to get through. And you're not realizing this, but once you move to calmer waters, once you go to court, you realize that it's going to be okay. Or once you realize the lessons in a situation, everything will be okay. There's going to be some form of enlightenment that you can move past all the arguing, that you can move past feeling like there's competition around you. This person cares for you. They feel as if there's a lot of self-love that needs to be done. Let's see. Hearts are conversations. The Empress. Okay. They feel as if you're in your head too much. They're waiting on you to come out of it. This is, they've planted their seeds. They've actually told you uh, whether or not you realize this or not. This person has told you what you need to do. They have beaten around the bush about it. But it's more or less an indirect type of, here, let me help you out. 
let me help you feel this out. God damn it, this fucking tablecloth. Why are you doing this bullshit? My, like, I have OCD with certain situations, and this fucking tablecloth is one of them. But, um, this is like, I, you're, right now, you're being kind of manipulative. And they feel that. They feel like you're trying to manipulate a situation in order to get what you want out of it. But all they want is for you to have that self-care, self-love, that, um, let me deal with this shit real quick. Let me get the fuck out of my head and actually fucking think about what I'm doing. Plant good seeds instead of bad. This is one of those... They feel as if you are the empress. They think at the same time, though, that you're kind of twisting the situation in a way. That way, you come out of your head and you know what the fuck is going on. But that can also be the blockage between you guys is that... um. You're twisting the situation. They see that you're twisting the situation. Um, and it's like a lesson for both of you guys. And you won't have this lesson until, like, you guys sit down and have a heart to heart conversation about what's going on. You um, could have fire in your chart, or you could be dealing with a fire, it's a masculine fire sign. Whether or not it's male or female, it could be somebody that is controlled by, like, their passions, you know what I mean? Okay, reconciliation, first card, there you go, happy life. Seeing that there is growth within a situation and that you're willing to have this settle down, have a family, let's share everything, let's fucking work together, you work, I work fucking let's just go out and do it this is how this shit is they're wanting this reconciliation they feel as if you are someone from their past life or you are someone from their past and they are wanting to build with you and create this happy like family life but right now, the blockage of this situation is that somebody's holding back. Let's see. Yeah, ready to let your guard down. This is... <laughs> you guys might not know it, but once this conversation happens, somebody's going to go from holding back to letting complete guard down to being vulnerable. But right now... It could be an air sign, or you might be an air sign dealing with this cancer. But um, this is the cutting truth. This is being in your feminine energy. This is um, feeling, having emotions and speaking up on them. Like, okay, I feel as if you're being shady whenever it comes to this. I feel as if I know that you're not letting your guard down for me. So, until I get some sort of truth, some sort of conversation that has to do with you, I'm not going to do this. Like, I need more. Yeah, somebody is in the midst of making a decision that kind of tears them up inside. This is feeling like your mind is completely torn. Like, okay, if I go this way, what benefits me type of situation? And that could be where the manipulation is coming into. Like, somebody needs to make a fucking choice, and they're trying not to be in their head about it, but at the same time, it's like a planted seeds in both situations. But this is tearing me apart, kind of waiting, you know? Uh-oh. Yeah, and they're defensive over this. They're in their head over this. And you might not realize it, but this person cares a lot about you. They're just waiting to see if you come forward and actually let go of what no longer serves you. Or this could... Hey, it's okay. 
Hold on, man. Okay, never mind. We're good. Um, but they could be waiting on you to let go of no what no longer serves you, so that they. Can, hold on. Anyways, they're waiting on you to let go of what no longer serves you, so that you guys can get out of this space. Like you could get out of this and feeling insecure. This is um depression this is not seeing the good in any situation that is in front of you they're waiting on these calmer waters but you are in the midst of something where they cannot control the situation and they're going to be pretty defensive towards you whenever it comes to this and they're going to sit there and they're going to try and decide what they need to do until this happens until you let them know what the fuck is going on with you you know what i mean Yeah, this is releasing toxicity, and, hold on, sorry guys, sorry, um, this is, uh, with Express Your Love, this is having addictive behaviors, whether or not there, there's drugs, alcohol, um, sex addictions, anything of that sort, that are, in, that's like involved in you guys' relationship, um, in a way, they are releasing it for you. Either that or you guys are releasing this obsessive type of thinking that you and this person aren't ready for this. You, your person feels like they're not getting what they want out of you. And you are dealing with some shit and you're not being completely open. But this is saying, okay, there's a bond here that you can't really get past. So why not express your love? Why not express what's going on? Yeah, because right now there's just a delay in happiness. Hey right, guys. Um, I'm gonna... Actually, I'm gonna get one more. I wanna see what these toxicities are that are in between expressing your love. Maybe you lost a part of yourself. Um, this is feeling like, uh, let's, <laughs> apparently it's wanting me to look at this. Finance is a career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Um, that's like, okay, somebody pretending like they have love for you. Or you've been fucked over in the past, possibly by a fire sign. Like, but this is king of fire and queen of fire. You guys are a match regardless if you feel like it or not um but there's somebody that lost their own self-respect and this is the energy between you guys like both of you so they're trying to make a decision about you but at the same time they've been obsessively thinking about this either that or they're trying to break the bond because they feel as if you don't want it. And you're not going for it. They're trying to focus on their passions just like you are. Like King and Queen of Wands. Like, let's figure out what the fuck, like, I run to, what I'm passionate about. Um, they're not really worried about love. And neither are you, but at the same time, there's this tie that I feel as if you guys are wanting to get rid of, but you can't. This is releasing the toxic behaviors between you guys. Not really focused about love right now, but at the same time, you guys love each other and you know you love each other and you're not willing to express your feelings. That is how it boils down to you. And they're about to choose between you and someone else. Because they don't know how you feel. So make the choice. Come forward. Say what the fuck you need to say. Whether it's for cancer or the cross watcher. Alright guys. We'll talk to you later.